this is the how-to video on how to create these copper terminals for the DeWalt battery adapter. Okay, so I started by buying some sheets of thin copper that I cut into little strips with these metal shears. Then I hopped into Fusion and designed a little punch and die. I printed this in ASA and I printed it completely solid so it could hold up to making a few of these. I first take my thin sheet of copper and I pre-bend it a little bit. That way it fits into the die a little easier. And then with this punch, I can form it by hand first. And then I will take a little wood clamp and press it in to make it its final shape. Now, generally, I use my bench top vise to do this. And I just keep it in there uh, while I mark the edges to be cut. But for the sake of this video, um, I'm just going to use this little clamp. So once it's out of the clamp, uh, I take my 3D printed knife and I can mark the edges. That way I know where to cut them. Once the part's out of the punch and die, I can find those little score marks and use my shears to cut it to size. I can then cut off some of the corners. This first cut is to allow the DeWalt battery to slide in just a little bit easier. That second little corner so it slides into the adapter a little easier. And these right here are on the wire side and I'm just chopping off the corners so there's no sharp edges. So now I'm gonna put it back in the punch and die and this is where I drill out my little hole. Again, I usually do this at my bench vise. It's just easier to drill a hole. I, I wouldn't wanna hold this while drilling. So I'm not gonna show it on camera, but basically I created a little hole that matches up with that short side of the battery terminal. I can drill that out and I should have a good part. The nice thing about drilling this hole out while it's inside that punch and die is that it doesn't leave a burr on the back of the copper. So you're left with a really nice hole. You will need two battery terminals for this DeWalt adapter. The long side of the battery terminal will go up through the adapter, making sure that chamfer on that corner is facing forward. If done correctly, the holes in the battery terminal should line up with the threaded inserts on the adapter.